Hi Aries, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of May 20th to May 26th, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Aries, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box below that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. I did change the platform for the extended readings. Now it is accepting PayPal um, for those of you who were wanting a platform that accepts PayPal. I went ahead and did that for you. Okay. All right. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. Here we go. Let's look at your energy, spirit, angels, and guys. Please show me the energy of Aries in regards to love for this week. What's the energy of Aries in regards to love for this week? Aries. So we have the Queen of Wands. We also have the Four of Wands. And we also have the Temperance card in your energy. At the bottom of the deck, King of Cups to the Five of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom. Okay. Hmm. A lot of healing needs to happen in this relationship um, that you have going on with this person. It does look like with the Five of Pentacles, um, there's distance between the two of you right now. There's a lack of communication between the two of you. Hmm. But it kind of looks like both of you still want this relationship. With the Four of Wands, you want this relationship. <clears throat> Sorry, you want this relationship and they also want it. Um, it just kind of looks like there's issues here um, that are not being dealt with or discussed or acknowledged or fixed. And it's really taking a toll on the relationship. But with the Temperance card, this tells me that, you know... Um, the opportunity to heal the relationship, it's, it's here. It's available, or it's going to be available. <clears throat> Let me look at you real quick. Spirit, tell me about the Queen of Wands, please. Male or female, doesn't matter the gender. Clarify the Queen of Wands. So we have the Six of Pentacles, we also have the High Priestess, we also have the Strength card. So you're keeping quiet, Aries, is what I'm getting with the High Priestess. You're being very quiet, very silent, intentionally. Feels like you're giving this person the silent treatment. With the strength card, you want this person to respect you and you want this person to value you. Um, this could also represent loyalty. You want this person to be loyal to you <clears throat> because that's how you are. You're someone who respects and values and, you know, you respect and value your partner and you're loyal to your partner and you want that same treatment back in return. Let me just clarify what the issue was here. What's the issue between Aries and this person, please? Spirit. What's the main issue between Aries and this person and in their relationship with each other? Oh, okay. So we have the Four of Swords. It kind of looks like the issue is a lack of communication. Um... You might have the tendency to keep things to yourself, and it kind of looks like this person has that same tendency to also keep things to themselves. Okay. 
So whenever you two have issues with each other, nothing is resolved because um, nobody nobody um, expresses their true feelings. You shut down and they shut down. Yeah. What does um, Aries want with this person or from this person, Spirit? What does Aries want with this person or from this person? Uh, Queen of Swords. Okay, here we go again with communication. You want this person to tell you the truth. You want this person to be upfront and honest with you and transparent with you. Um, you might feel like this person lies or keeps secrets or they're very vague. They hide information from you. You know, they're secretive. I mean... Why the, why the Queen of Swords spirit? Tell me more about that. Why does Aries want the Queen of Swords energy here? The Wheel of Fortune. Okay. You might feel like this person is keeping this relationship stuck. You might feel like this person doesn't have any future plans with you. They don't have any future plans. They haven't established any future plans with you. They haven't expressed wanting to make future plans with you. Because with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like you want to feel like this relationship is headed somewhere. You want to feel like this relationship is headed somewhere. But you feel like this person... Um, it doesn't look like they're interested in moving forward with you or in like in expanding with you, growing with you, progressing with you. You feel like this person's not changing. So you want change in regards to, you know, this person putting a, a little bit more effort to expand the relationship and to grow the relationship. And you also want clear communication from them or honest communication from them. Okay, so let's look at your person's energy for the week. Let's see what's going on with them. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of the person Aries is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week, please. What is this person's energy towards Aries for this week? Let's get one shuffle. All right, so looking at this person's energy towards you, first card we have here is the Five of Cups. Kind of looks like this person is feeling sad with the Five of Cups. They feel sad, they feel lonely, they also feel like they, like they lost you. They're grieving the, the loss of you. They're grieving your absence in their life. Tell me more, Spirit, what's this person's energy towards Aries for the week? Oh, interesting. The Wheel of Fortune. That's interesting. That's, that's the same card that you got on your side, the Wheel of Fortune. And here they have it as well, the Wheel of Fortune. So this person does want change to happen in this relationship. They want positive change. They want forward movement. It just kind of looks like you haven't seen that from them or you haven't heard that from them. But deep down inside, it does look like this person does actually want to have a future with you, have progress with you. Tell me more about this person's energy towards Aries for the week.
Yep, look at this. We have the Two of Cups. Two of Cups is a soulmate connection, a soulmate union. So it kind of looks like this person has very strong, deep feelings for you. Um, and they definitely feel like you are their soulmate. And like I said, they're definitely in this energy of feeling lost, feeling empty, feeling lonely. Okay. Seven of Cups is at the bottom of the deck here. I'm not sure why this card is here, but we'll figure it out. Let's see. I think I'm going to clarify that, actually. Ooh, we also have the Four of Cups here. Again, there's an energy of them feeling sad. You can see it in the card. Feeling really sad. Feeling really um, heartbroken. Uh, empty. Lonely. I feel like this person is thinking about you with the Seven of Cups. They're thinking about you and they're wondering if you also feel sad, if you also feel lonely, if you also feel empty without them. They're wondering if you, if you want to hear from them, if you want to see them, because that's what they want. They want to, they want to hear from you and they want to see you. I'm getting a strong energy of someone who's missing you here. I'm also, I'm also um, noticing that this person feels guilty as well. They're carrying um, an energy of guilt in their energy. They feel guilty for their contribution to the downfall of this relationship. And I do feel like they are acknowledging that they contributed in a big way. And there's something about this person wishing they could turn back time and do things differently and make different decisions. But that's impossible. That's impossible, but I feel like this person wishes it were possible to turn back time and, you know, redo a lot of things that they did. Hmm. But yeah, there is an energy of them like wanting to speak to you, wanting to reach out to you. But feeling like you might not want that, you might not be interested, and they feel like they might just have to accept that they lost you for good. And that's a, a tough pill to swallow, is what I'm getting. A very tough pill to swallow for them. Okay. Aries, I'm going to stop the reading right here, and I'm going to continue now in the extended reading. In the extended reading, I'm going to take a deeper look at this person here. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you deep down inside. What, what are their true and real intentions with you for this week? What actions will they end up taking towards you moving forward? And what will the outcome be between the two of you? All right. If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.